Patrick. You are my greatest blessing and my greatest reward. You are my forever, my home, my best friend, my boyfriend, and now husband. <laughs> Thank you for choosing me and loving me. I will always choose you. <laughs> Moni, marriage is a new beginning and I'm so excited to experience it with you. The truth is, you are God's promise Waking in my up life. knowing there's a reason All my dreams come alive Life is for living with you I've made my decision When I see you, I see God's blessing in my life. I've prayed for you since I was six, and God blessed me with everything I asked for and more. Oh, you guys, I'm here. See the sun now bursting through the clouds, black and white. Turn the color all around, all is new, and the Savior I am found. This is oh my gosh. So many things. Monique, you are the sister I've never had. My mom's extra daughter. I can't imagine an alternate life without you in it. You have the ability to make anyone's day even just a little bit brighter. The love you two share is the kind of love me and her have talked about all those years ago in her purple twin bed. Don't <laughs> You've been my best friend since 2013, and ever since then, I never wanted to find out what life would be like without you. Ever since we started dating for the first time in my life, I knew I didn't have to do things alone or go through circumstances alone because I have you. See the sun now bursting through the clouds, black and white. Back in 2018, when you, I asked you what love was. And you answered, what love meant to you was that love is choosing each other. Since the foundation of marriage is love, this is one vi vow in which I don't mind making absolute. I vow to never stop choosing you. I love you for choosing me, for always being patient, for riding every ro roller coaster ride with me with no hesitation, for choosing to be there in my highest highs and my lowest lows. You are my dream come true. First, I want to acknowledge my mother present right now. I know it's the oldest one. The, there's my mom. I vow, under Christ's strength, to be the best person, best husband that I could be. I vow to be a man who allows you to bloom, grow, and transform into the woman God has called you to be. I vow to love you as Christ loved the church, to love you as I love myself. But I vow to always choose you. I vow to always get to know you now and even when you're 43 or 89 or 107 years old and grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh,
what Patrick is. Three criteria I look for him. First, God-fearing man. Second, Filipino nationality. Also <laughs> mine. And most of all, uh, a responsible man. So, now my wife and I were praying, uh, please be the partner, Patrick, be the partner of my daughter. Looking through our love story, it's an amazing picture of growth and God's faithfulness. We started off being a proximity couple. We, <laughs> we fell in love because we were near each other. Whoa. Then there was a long distance. <laughs> then there was a long distance stint, and now we're back together, reunited. I know we've always talked about what our forever home in the future will look like, but you are my forever home. I, <laughs> I am excited for the household and the future we get to create together. I am so astounded by God's promise in our lives and I cannot wait to see what else is in store. I now pronounce you for the first time. Mr. and Mrs. Patrick and Nicola. I want you to introduce myself. I am the boyfriend of Patrick Mom. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Monique, welcome to the family. Uh, you're officially recognized as Ate. No more. No more Monique, but Ate. <laughs> 